Uh, hi and welcome. I hope you are good. Uh, in this video, I'll talk about how to find the indexes of strings uh, that contain a particular word or a particular pattern uh, using R. So uh, let's take an example. I'll create a scenario here. So these, these are some of the movies of the Marvel Universe uh, and they are sorted based on their release date. Uh, what it means is that Iron Man, in, like in this case, uh, is, was released, for, released first uh, in, I think, about 2008. Uh, and the other movies came next. So these are sorted movies of Marvel Universe. And I have taken the first 10. Now, uh, to relate it to our question, to how, do, how to find the indexes of strings that contain a word. So let's say our word is Captain. And I want to know the indices of all the strings that contain the word captain in it. So this is our question that we want to find the indices of all the strings that contain that particular word. Now I'll be using the string R package uh, as well as the base R to, to answer this question. So let's load the lab, the lab, the package string R in case you don't have it installed on your PC. A laptop just do install dot packages string r and since i have already installed it i'll just do i'll just load the package okay so to find the indices uh, of the strings that contain a, mat, a particular word or a pattern uh, we can use the str underscore which function uh, now the, the this function uh, accepts two arguments first is the vector of strings and second is the pattern basically a word that we are searching for or, or any regular expressions so let's start with uh, finding indexes of the string that contain the word captain okay so to do that what we need to do is str underscore which now the first argument is strings strings we have already seen this is the vector of all the movies uh, the, the 10 movies the first 10 movies and we want to search for captain to so see the next word is the pattern or we can just uh, directly write in whatever we are searching for so str underscore which strings captain okay, so the output is 5 I'll just move it up uh, the output is 5 and 9 now if we look at the original vector the cap captain is present in this movie captain america the first avenger and in the ninth one captain america the winter so the winter soldier uh, so similarly we can let let's say if we want to search for the uh, word thor so we can do str underscore which strings comma thor now we can also do it like this p a t t e r n or we can name it uh, by any variable let's say thor and instead of thor we just type in pattern because that's the argument names in in the function we can use any name i'm just using pattern so again now we get four and eight now if we look at the original uh, i'll print it again strings so we are searching for the pattern thor so it's uh, the output says the word thor is present in the fourth string and the eighth string the fourth string is thor and the eighth string is thor the dark word okay so uh, this is how we did it using the string r package now we can do the same thing using the base r package now one good thing about string r package is that the names of the functions are very intuitive we know when we read the function name we know what it is doing for example, str underscore which basically it will return the indexes. Uh, the equivalent function in in base R is grep. So the syntax for grep is uh, we have the function grep and then pattern and string. Now, if you observe closely, the 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 sequence of arguments in grep is uh, exactly reversed from str underscore which. In str underscore which we have the string the vector uh, the vector of strings first and then the pattern uh, whereas in case of uh, grep the pattern or the word which we are searching is coming first and then the string so let's uh, let's find the indices using the grep function 
same thing I'm doing. I'm searching the word captain using grep. Grep. Then we have the pattern. In this case, it's captain again. And then in the vector of the strings where we are searching, so that is strings. The name is strings. Okay. So again, we uh, when we searched for captain, we got five comma nine. Uh, uh, we have already seen it's present in five and in nine. And uh, let's again do the same thing. Uh, find the indices of the strings which contain which contain the word Thor. So grep captain. Sorry, uh, Thor and strings. So Thor is present in four and eight, the fourth one and the eighth one. Now we can uh, also do it another in another way. Uh, uh, there is a there is a function in uh, string R, str detect. So now our strings is strings. Let's say we are searching for captain. I'll put it up. Basically, this will return true and false. Now we want the index. So we'll type which. So again, this will return the same thing. So five and nine. So str underscore which is basically a wrapper around which and str underscore detect. So now, now I'll summarize uh, what we have learned here. So let's say we want to find a pattern. It's called, let's say it's, we are searching for captain and we have a string called strings it's a vector of strings so using a string r package we can do it we want to find the indices of the strings uh, which has which contain a particular word or a pattern so str underscore which for for str underscore which the first argument is string that is strings here then pattern. So I'll just run this again. So we have five comma nine and then using uh, using base r we have grep strings sorry we have the 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 sequence of arguments is reversed in this case so be be, be careful with this uh, pattern comma strings also we can do this using base r and string r package by str underscore which detect sorry detect string s comma pattern okay Okay, so uh, we have these functions to find the indices of the of a, of a, uh, indices of the strings which has a particular pattern or a word. So that's all for the for today's uh, video, and uh, I hope it was useful. Thank you. Take care.